Austin, Texas. This is our city and the highway that divides it, I-35. Austin was originally laid out as a perfect grid with East Avenue as the eastern boundary. Until the late 1950s, East Avenue looked like this, a wide boulevard. Today it looks like this, everyone's nightmare. The most congested roadway in Texas. A recent TxDOT study estimates Austin's I-35 congestion as costing commuters almost 3 million hours a year at an annual cost of over $110 million. We applaud TxDOT's efforts to solve our horrific congestion. They plan to rebuild I-35 through downtown with additional lanes and safer ramps. But we must also consider how we can create value for the city. I-35 and its frontage roads are physical, social, and economic barriers. What if we could reclaim the I-35 corridor through downtown Austin, reconnecting the street grid and restoring East Avenue in the process? Imagine the main lanes of the interstate below ground, covered at ground level with a continuous cap, replacing the former frontage roads with a civilized urban boulevard appropriate for all users creating more driving options for city traffic, plus opening the way for new parkland and high-quality development. Our purpose is to reconnect Austin back to the future. This plan improves regional mobility by increasing capacity with more lanes, reduces congestion by relocating local traffic, and adds 60% more east-west connections, increasing accessibility into downtown. We can reconnect our city with great streets, separating high-speed freeway traffic from our city traffic. We can create a pedestrian, bicycle, and transit-friendly environment, provide a higher quality of life, and facilitate the social and economic exchange that cities are founded upon. Second Street, pictured here, is the best success story to date of Austin's Great Streets program a truly radical transformation and huge benefit, both economically and socially. Looking east on 5th Street from downtown, the barrier of the highway is obvious. But consider this. With the highway hidden below ground, this intersection is once again a viable part of our city. Voila! Human-scale development in an urban environment. Let's see it again. Remove the barrier, connect the grid, re-engage with your city, a place for people, sidewalks with shade, a vibrant community. We can solve our traffic problems and address the negative impacts of I-35 with a technology called cut and cap. The freeway main lanes are in the cut, which is covered with a cap that blocks freeways noise and a ventilation system removing vehicle pollutants from the air, making I-35 a better neighbor for everyone. Like Austin, cities across the country are struggling with aging, congested highways that divide their cities. In Dallas, there is a new cap over the Woodall Rogers Freeway. Clyde Warren Park opened in October of 2012. It is already a huge success. Boston reconnected downtown to its own waterfront, as well as the historic North End neighborhood, improving traffic flow, saving commuter time, and creating new parkland. Other cities have capped over rail lines and parking to create usable urban space. New York's subway system is a cut and cap, even along Park Avenue. Millennium Park, in downtown Chicago is a cap over rail lines. And Houston's Discovery Green is a downtown park over underground parking. Massive taxpayer dollars are already being invested in projects along I-35, including the Waller Creek Tunnel and its associated tax increment financing zone, Plaza Saltillo and the land owned by Capital Metro, the existing and growing medical and innovation district, 
the proposed University of Texas Medical School and Teaching Hospital, and of course the University of Texas campus. Ours is a unique once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The time to act on this vision is now. At risk is our quality of life and economic competitiveness as a city. Visit our website for more information and contact us at www.reconnectaustin.com.